Right, hi everyone. Today I'm back to do another test, which I did earlier, but I've decided to make a hopefully a better video of it this time. And just explain what's going to happen here. Uh, basically, we're going to power up these lights over here. Um, right, with we're going to plug it directly into the mains via this white cable there, then it goes through the black lead. Right now it's plugged, it goes up here and it's plugged into the free energy device here. Um, that before our second comparative test. I want to compare the energy of the comparison of plugging the lead into the free energy device and compare it, compare it to when it's plugged into, into the mains. And here's a main socket down here on the floor. So let's get this layout for you going. Right, so there's our lights and white cable into the black cable and then into the plug board here, which that's the mains, 240 volts, okay? Right, now just to check what sort of device we're going to use for test, we're going to be using this here. Um, this is a Galaxy um, S4 and the software we'll be using will be, if we can get it focused for you, Oh, let's, let's try and get some lighting going for you here. This one could be tricky. Well, one's called a light meter and the other one's called brightness of lamp. And uh, is there really no way around this? God. Okay, let's try this, see what happens. Okay, yeah, right. So we can see it says brightness of lamp there. That's the icon for this this little, this little program. What it does, you simply put in the amount of lux, and it and it converts the amount of lux into into um, wattage. Let's run that little program there. See, it's here I've got 160 uh, lux, right? Uh, it's a lux per meter, whatever it is. It's called lux for short, and and that translates into um, 19 watts. So this is just a calculator to convert in my lux measurement into wattage. Now let's come back out of that program. Let's uh, get rid of that program. Right, and then we go on to the next program. The next program we're going to use this one here. So I'm going to show you the icons so you can download them off uh, Google Play. The second one we're going to use is this one here that says light meter. Just to get a focus of it for you, there it's just uh, it's got it's got Lux written on it, and it's got a picture of a bulb. Um, let's try and get best looking focus for you. There, there it is. Oh, no, nice. Oh, we've got both of them there in a picture, right? So you can, can get a look at how get an idea what it looks like. Okay. So I don't know if we can get the same amount of light. Dark, that's lovely dark light focus but don't worry about it okay let's run the next piece of software there it is and um, now running this one here uh, it's called light meter which you can again download from Google Play right um, now if I only thing it reads from the front if I've, I've got a light over here there and if I bring it up to this light you can see Oops, you can see it starts to read the my lux is reading about ninety odd lux there and uh we don't want this thing this piece of kit conking out on us. Okay. Right, and that's a number that we will use later on. But in this case we're gonna be facing this this device here at the lights. And the way that's gonna work is that if we position here, notice we've got a, a black mark here. Let's get that going. See that, see that black mark there? That denotes the distance of one meter on my probe. Let's go right away to it to the end of here, to the very tip here. Straighten it up to the very tip of the probe here. That's one meter, so let's look at it again. There's our black mark, and I only see it because this cable's in the way. Right, there's our black mark, that is one meter from here to there. So at the one meter mark, just there, we're going to put this, put our phone, hold our phone just there. I'm going to take off a reading off of that. It won't be easy for you guys to see it, but uh, 
because I've got too much stuff to do and I don't want to leave this piece of kit on for it very long. Okay. Alright then, let's do the first test, shall we? This is a simple enough one. Okay. Let's see if we can get this piece of kit going. Yes, we can. And, um... Right, we're going to plug in... This thing takes quite a bit of fidgeting around. Okay, we're going to plug this one in. There it is. It's actually on. See the light on there. And at one meter, see, I'm gonna see what we're getting. At one meter, it's on. What does it say on there? It says. It says only twelve. Only twelve lux on there. Get back. Let's get it going. Going again. Twelve, thirteen lux. That's all that's coming out there. Fourteen lux. Uh, can get a quick upside down reading on that. Yep. There's twelve. Right. That's what we got. So. If we've got 12, right, and we come back over here, we're going to plug it out temporarily, and, um, well, we haven't got enough stuff to do that with, so let's just, right, let's unplug that, turn it back on, and run the software. Alright, running the software again, even upside down, you can see it's now reading naught lux. Alright, we can turn it around for you. Hell of a job that is. There we go. It's reading naught now. And that's at the uh, one meter mark here on this um, probe, on our probe or broomstick. Which, as we know, that goes right up to there. Okay. Now we've done that test, we're going to keep running the camera and move on to the next test now this time we're going to put it on a free energy device let's get rid of one of these gadgets out of my hand free my hands up so I can see what I'm doing okay can I get a focus over here right so we've got our lead here this this one's going to be plugged into the free energy device here remember 12 is what we'll use as a comparison so I'm going to watch that is later again. That's plug same setup, plugged in there, go through the white cable, through the black cable. Through this black cable it goes, it goes up here, around there, and into here. Free energy device. Let's, let's go back on go shut shut that goes right back. Alright, there's our shot that goes right back. And our plug is in there somewhere. Right, okay. We go down here on the floor again. This will be a friendly device today. We're powered directly from the mains, from the mains from here, throughout our um, switch main control board, which can change, which has a switches here. So it's the switch on and off. That powers right through from there up this white cable, goes up here, and then straight in, directly into the MOT. It's not being powered by the 12 volt inverter today. Straight into the MOT, not this one, the MOT. Right, okay, and that's the setup. So we're going to switch it on. This one's a bit, bit much more awkward. Okay, let's turn on the first one. Right, and let's get our Lux machine set up. We're only going to run it for a short period of time. Right, here's our layout. Again, got some focus. Right. And uh, right, first thing I'm going to do is turn on our program here. Right, we've got our Lux situation there. Before that starts to go off on me, which will be positioned here. Here we go. I just quick get around here, turn on the light. Well, I'm going to count one, two, and three, and it's on now. And our Lux is on here. It's, it's region staggering two, two thousand, two thousand. Can't believe it. Yeah, it's region two thousand twenty. You can see it. It's upside down, but that will do for now. Let's switch it around for you guys. There we go. Staggering eighteen hundred in a two thousand odd range, right? So let's switch off this piece of kit now. 
Okay, uh, I'll switch them off anyway. Right, so, wow. Right, well now we've turn, turn off our 300 device. We can sort of almost sit down and do some calculations. Right, what does that mean? It means that at 2000, all right, if we come back here, turn this off now. You go to here, I've got 12 to compare to 2000. Okay, let's get, a bit, get out of the way so we can get some uh, visualization going on here. Good. Right, we're going to type in some numbers here. Let's think, is it even? Oh, let's get some. Right, get some focus going. Right. Right. Okay, so we say um, 12, which was the first reading, I press done. It gives us only 3 watts from the mains. 240 volts gives us a hit of only 3 watts worth of lighting power when the bulb's in series. And let's look at it, compare that to the free energy. Alright. Let's compare that now to, we'll get some focus going. I think I better, right, that's it there. Then delete that. Alright, just tr trying to get focus here as well. And we know that the average number is at least 2,000. So, there's 1,900, even 2,000. Right, let's ready to hit this big done. So what comes up? It comes up at it's saying that each bulb is dishing out about 140. Well, it's 140 watts in comparison. So, uh, I mean, each bulb will be dishing out about 140 watts if this setup is accurate enough. Either way, the gain level is 42, 40, 140 divided by 12. Which would give us a cop difference. Um, well, three watts to. Well, well, yeah, three three watts. Let's get this thing back to 140 watts. Is is a staggering difference, All right? So uh, three into uh, two sons of four threes into. Uh, let's do this properly. Right, let's get out of here now and get back to using something typical, typical calculator. Can we find that? Well, we'll find that on this function here. Um, yes, we can. There we go. So it's saying 140 divided by 3. Right, four forty six a piece, right, so um we can say the energy level is forty six times greater. That's a staggering amount of difference. It's forty six times more powerful the free energy machine than put it in the mains. That's a staggering revelation. Wow. Uh -huh. So we've got some really good feel good numbers here, so this test was quite good actually. So what this shows is um, how powerful the free energy device actually is. I approximated it to be about 5000 watts using a typical microwave transformer which is gives, which is rated to, to work on a microwave of an addition about 600 watts. However it can go up to about 1000 watts easily. Um, but I think, think the device itself is pushing out, initially I rated about 5,000 watts. But we're looking at a gain here of, uh, ooh, gain of 46, yeah, gain of 46, which is, it means the light is actually 46 times brighter. We could run off at 50, 
Imagine, imagine that our free and injured device is ne nearly 50 times more powerful than the mains. A staggering. Wow, that's a real revelation. I like it, I like it. Wow. Okay, I think that's enough pretty numbers for the time being. And, um, if I can, yeah, I think that's enough for the time. We don't need to look at any more data for the time being. Uh, so we got initially on the main, on the, um, well, you can wind back the bid when you're ready. But from the mains, we got a Lux of 12. And, um, from the free energy device, we got a Lux of averaging about 2,000. Okay, that's, I'm going to shut down this video and this test for now. It's brill. I'm out of here. Oh, and the good man, you want to see his face? Why not? Here we go. And there it is. It's me saying, buy the buy for now. Thank you.